please give a wonderful, warm, Gadigal country, Sydney, welcome to Stella Rosanna. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. And Scott's right. Uh, this is my first time to your land. And it won't be my last, obviously, because I'm going to come back here, home with Julian. And our kids, who are Australian citizens, will come home too. It's been a bit bittersweet because I always imagined my first visit to Australia to be with Julian and the kids. Um, but I'm just here for a few days. Obviously, the context for this trip was going to be um, President Biden and the Quad meeting, um, but they bailed. <laughs> but I, I wanted to come here and be able to speak to all of you. Because I want to tell you that you guys are at the forefront of a global movement for justice. A global movement that converges on one man, but the meaning of which goes far beyond Julian's freedom. It's not just Julian who has lost his freedom, but all of us. Because in order to keep Julian in prison, they have had to corrupt their own rules and their own principles. But we've reached a point now, I really feel it. We've reached a turning point because they know that we know that they are wrong and that they are cruel and that they are torturing Julian because he did the right thing, because he is in prison, because he exposed the crimes of others. Yeah. And that no decent humane human being will ever tolerate that. The only people whose interest remains Julian's imprisonment are the ones who are guilty and implicated in those crimes. Now, I have to tell the children about, try to explain to them what's going on. And I both want to um, explain to them that this is not a normal situation, um, but also give them hope. And they have hope because they, they see the millions of people who support Julian. They see it all the time. But I also have to try to break down what's actually happening here. And I tell them, I tell them that Julian showed the world that bad people were doing bad things. And those bad people then got so angry that they put him in a prison and they're holding the keys to his prison cell. But that millions of people are fighting for those keys back. And all of you, each of you, are part of that fight. And there are millions around the world. I've been traveling to Italy, to Germany, in Mexico. John and Gabriel have just been in Mexico and they were traveling throughout Latin America. Julian's case is a case of global importance. But you guys are at the center of it because Julian is an Australian. He's a country boy. And he's from this country and that means that the key to securing Julian's release lies with you. And you guys have been incredible over the years. I mean, I was just in Canberra and I had a meeting 
in a packed out room of parliamentarians. There was standing room only. And they were from every party. It's really just the entire political spectrum uh, who is now saying enough is enough. With action. I, I, I agree with what has been said here, but let's not lose sight of what an achievement this has been because a few years ago there was radio silence and apart from Scott and a few others people were silent about what was happening what was being done to Julian and there has been a sea change a sea change and I'll tell you why because of you because you know how politicians are they have opinions about all sorts of things. Sometimes they're the right opinions, but they won't express them unless they think it will further their political career. But you guys have made a very clear signal about what will further their pol pol political career. And you need to keep that going. You guys need to shout louder, fight harder, Put the pressure on each of your representatives. Make Julian's situation visible everywhere, every day. On your cars, on your shirts, every day. You tell all your friends, you talk about it with your family members, you meet with your MPs, and you make sure that Julian stays top priority until he steps out of that prison. Until he comes home to us, to all of us. I think we're near. We can achieve this together. I, I fight for Julian every day, but I'm not alone. I feel like I am buoyed by all of you and the enormous support that has built over the years of decent people standing for decency, for humanity and for justice. Not in some abstract way, but in this very concrete way. And don't lose sight of the incredible community that has been formed around this case. All good people I meet from all walks of life. People I, would ne I thought I would never meet, not because for anything, but just we wouldn't cross paths. People on which, for which uh, sometimes I would probably have an argument on one or two things, but who have a basic sense of decency and humanity and justice and who won't tolerate this. Julian knows I'm here today, obviously. I spoke to him this morning. He is really uh, encouraged. It really keeps him going, you know, because every day that passes, if the other side had been successful, he would become more and more invisible, and what's happened is the opposite. And that's because of you. I want you, you guys to know that Julian appreciates each and every one of you. And that he knows that without you, he would never be able to be free. But now we have hope. We have real hope that Julian will be able to step out into the sun once more. I long for the day where we can come to your beautiful city and walk around these spectacular views, the harbor, 
I've just been, my breath has been taken away. It's just so spectacular. I saw a rainbow lorikeet up close uh, yesterday, and I saw about 30 kangaroos on the roadside. Uh, it was amazing. Um, Julian has told me so many stories. He, you know, he, he grew up in Queensland, and he's lived in Victoria and New South, New South Wales, and he has so many stories. And people just imagine him behind a computer screen, but he's really a country boy. And he wants to show the kids where he grew up. He wants to take us for walks. And I really long for the day when he'll be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, it's important. No extradition, but not just that. Freedom. Yeah. The charges. Let this man be. Let him live. Enough is enough. Let him come home to our children. Let him have just a dinner at home. You know, let him sit on the couch. Let him take a nap. Let him feel the air on his skin. It's been denied to him for so long. I really... Let's make it happen, you guys. Thank you.